Hi guys, welcome back to episode eight of Geography Explained Online. Today we're doing a, another skill that works with our topographic maps, which is working out the aspect of a slope. What is aspect, Mr. Cizio? I'm so glad you asked, Samantha. Aspect of a slope is essentially what way the slope faces. So pretty much, if you were standing on a hill and you dropped a ball, what way the ball rolls is the aspect of the slope. Think of it as the way the slope faces. That really all, that's really all there is to it, but we just need to figure out how can we work out the aspect just by looking at contour lines alone. Two quick steps and you will have this one absolutely mastered. So let's go to the whiteboard. So we're here at the whiteboard and we've got our pretty easy topographic map. Um, we've got our trig station at the top 277 metres. And you can see as we work out, we're working at an interval of 20 metres. So each contour, meter, each contour line is 20 metres apart. What we're going to do first, Mr. Sizio is going to show you how to work out the aspect for point A, which is just here. Thank you, Samantha. So, uh, very simple really. We've got aspect of slope A, you can see it's directly on a, on a contour line. Um, so what we need to do is basically use the two lines next to it. And then, so if it's on a line, I use three points. And I basically do a straight line that intersects, that try to be completely perpendicular to the contour lines. So if I was going to draw one there, it would look like that. The next thing I need to do is figure out which way is up the hill and which way is down the hill because the aspect is always going to be down the hill. Pretty clear on our topographic map here, the peak of the mountain here is here, everything else is down. So down on our contour line here is that way. And that's pretty much all there is to it. We just have to now figure out what direction that is. We use north, south, east, west of course. So on our map here, that would be basically a northeast aspect of that particular set. Too easy. All right, we're gonna do just one more example to make sure you've got it. And we're gonna look at this one B down here. Again, following the same steps. We're gonna draw a line that is perpendicular through B. The biggest mistake people make with this skill is they do that line, sometimes at a bit of an angle. So what we need to make sure is once we draw this line through, we've got a right angle formed between our contour line and our perpendicular line. If you draw on some kind of angle and you end up with this little acute angle here, uh, it's just simply not gonna work. So make sure straight perpendicular through your contour. We then work out as before which way is downhill. This one's 250, 230, 210. So we're going downhill in this direction. And we would say that that has a southeasterly aspect. Okay, so here's another little um, way it can be kind of tricky. We've zoomed right in here, and in our little photo, we have a, a river in the middle, but we don't have any contour index. We don't have any number that tell us what height any of these contour lines are. But in this case, I'm gonna show you how sometimes it doesn't matter. We can actually use the river itself to figure out the aspect of a slope. Obviously the river, if there's a river there, it's gonna be at the bottom of a hill, right? So if we were trying to work out what is our aspect at this point here, we know that a river's there, so basically this has to be going downhill towards the river, and again, downhill towards the river, the river's not gonna be on the side of a hill. So even without any contour index, without any number, we can still do our perpendicular line, so we know which way the slope is going, but because the river's on that side, down has to be that way, which means the aspect of our slope here is obviously basically west-northwest. Okay, so we're not using the number, we're just using the river. Um, we're logicking our way to an answer here. Thanks for watching guys. Another episode of Geography Explained Online. We'll be back next week with a new skill. Make sure you give that one lots of practice looking at a few topographic maps. Yep, like we said, very quick and easy today. Aspect is a very simple thing, but it could be worth marks to you in your HSC, so you've got to make sure you know it. Make sure you check us out on Instagram at Geography Explained Online. Also check out Ryan Hemsworth Music. He'll be in the credits for all of our opening and outro music. and. Big thanks again to Amelia as our uh, visual media representative officer. <laughs> so that, that's a real thing that that's, exists. It's her job title. Yeah. All right, uh, we'll see you next week, guys. That's, Have thanks. a good one. Make sure we like and subscribe. Ding, ding, ding. That just happened like this. Oh, it's on. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be blooper number one. No more bloopers though. Take three. I'm kind of liking this outfit on camera.
Yeah. And I got my old, old man jumper. Logically, I'm way too an answer here.